Here are my sports card collections for two of my favorite players, Barry Bonds and Trello. start by looking at the Barry Bonds cards. Um, I did not give any thought really to which ones are my favorites or which one to show. Um, I guess yay and yay. These are some pretty cool ones. So this is uh, this Flair Hot Prospects out of 85 Auto. Um, just cool. Um, love it. Lo love the die cut. Um, I love the way the blue pops on this Fleer uh, Futures Auto out of 50. Uh, card number one of 50 as well, which is awesome. eBay 101. Obviously kidding. Uh, I don't think there's any other one specifically I want to look at other than this one. So kind of a cool story with this card. Um, it's the Willie Mays and Barry Bonds passing the torch. Dual auto, auto 50. Um, the only uh, dual autograph of Barry Bonds and his godfather Willie Mays. Obviously two of the greatest baseball players of all time. Kind of a cool backstory with this card is I probably looked, I want to say, for two or three years for that card and never did one become available. Um, they're very scarce, they're tied up in collections, literally never had the opportunity to buy one. Uh, I had a layover flight um, that got substantially delayed um, in Florida uh, beginning of 2022 and I was literally just endlessly scrolling through uh, some card pages on Instagram and came across somebody that posted this specific card um, like two or three years ago. And it's the first time that I'd actually seen not just a picture of one. Um, so I reached out to the guy and said, hey, do you by chance still own that card? If so, would you move it? Um, at first he was, if he, he did respond and said that he still owned it, which was crazy to me. The first person actually knew that uh, had, had owned one um, or currently owned one. And then um, he did say, however, that he was hesitant to, uh, hesitant to sell. Obviously, I was persistent as could be, and I think it took about a week or two, but we finally agreed on a price, and this card is one that will never leave my PC, I can assure you of that, um, and it's one card that I obviously, since that date, still have yet to see another one of. Um, I'll still try buying more, so if anybody does have one, I would love to buy another copy of one, but this is one that will always be, be uh, near and dear to my heart, so super excited to own this one. Obviously, my favorite Barry Bonds, if I didn't, didn't express so enough. Moving on to Trello Owens, kind of the same uh, same game here. I don't think I really uh, planned out which ones I'd want to chat about. This is a pretty cool SPX auto though. Um, obviously a uh, um, jersey auto with the signature on the jersey, which is pretty cool. Um, I believe it's yeah out of 50. Um, I like these players inks. I got two of the uh, ones out of 100, uh, 88 and 99 out of 100. Love those ones. I know I've got a good 77, 66 and all the 11 multiples. Um, Love this card uh, out of Owens jersey number 81. I think mean, there's a couple in here that are out of 81 actually, but um, specifically love this one. Three color patch, which is super hard to come by on these. Uh, super bold auto as well, which is amazing. Following the same, uh, following the same level as the Willie Mays and Bonds passing the torch. Kind of the same situation here. So Jerry Rice and Terrell Owens passing the torch out of 50 auto. The only reason I don't love this card a ton more is because it's sticker. I do not know if there is a um, Rice and Owens uh, dual auto that's not sticker. I believe this is the only one. If not, please do let me know because I will try to acquire one. Um, but still an amazing card. Obviously two of the goats um, on the same card. You can never go wrong. Uh, so yeah, that is my TO collection. Actually, I have to say this. This one, while literally probably the least expensive auto, I think it's worth like 40 bucks that I have in this collection. Um, this one, uh, I can't believe I was remiss to say this, is actually my all-time favorite because it was the first one that I'd owned. Uh, growing up, I didn't have money to buy a $30 card, um, and this was actually uh, actually a Christmas gift that I got. So. Uh, Parents could never afford like a Bonds thing, so they ended up buying, uh, so my parents had bought me this uh, Terrell Owens autograph. And that is one that no matter what other cards I have, that'll absolutely always be, always be my favorite TO auto. 
Why Barry Bonds and why Terrell Owens? I'm sure you're wondering. So we'll start with Terrell Owens. He's literally the player that got me into football. I don't think that there was anyone more entertaining to the game um, in the early 2000s than Terrell Owens. Um, I think he got shafted. I would still love that. I think he's what, in his mid 40s, would still love to see him play football. I, the guy was absolutely insane. And obviously growing up, I loved the angst and the uh, um, taunting and the celebrations and all that. There was nothing more entertaining to me. So he is really what made me gravitate to start watching and uh, Watching and, see, watching and tuning into football week in and week out. Uh, I did get the opportunity to see him play one time, luckily. Uh, a game in Green Bay when he was on the Cowboys. Don't think he had a very good game, but it was awesome to get an opportunity to see him play before, before he retired. Barry Bonds is kind of the exact same thing for, uh, for baseball. Yeah, I know steroids and all that stuff. Um, I'll debate uh, anybody until I'm blue in the face why Barry Bonds is the GOAT. Uh, but kind of the same situation, uh, growing up, um, he's what got me into watching baseball religiously. Um, it was, it was must-watch TV each and every single time that uh, that that Bonds was playing. Um, I tuned into the TV religiously um, to, to watch Giants games. Um, I got to see him play a handful of times at Miller Park in Milwaukee. I actually saw him break the uh, National League home run record. Baseball fun fact. Um, Hank Aaron obviously played for the uh, for the Brewers after the Braves. Um, so he had some American League home runs. So I think, and I'm gonna butcher this part, so don't answer this in trivia, but I think it's like 734, 735 home runs um, that Hank Aaron hit the National League and then he had to get 755 uh, in the American League with the Brewers. So I actually did see Barry Bonds break a home run record, but it was the National League home run record, uh, which he did at Miller Park in Milwaukee. Um, I literally still, one of my favorite uh, memories that I'll ever have um, of watching sports was staying up, I think it was a couple nights in a row, waiting for him to break the home run record. Um, and obviously being from uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, games in California are played super late. And I, I wanna say it was like midnight, one in the morning on a school night. Um, and I can literally still to this day, like remember the exact feeling when I saw him hit 756. I w ran upstairs, woke up my parents, we turned on ESPN and it was, you know, the whole breaking news uh, story and all that. So. Basically, that's why these two are um, really the, the, the two players that got me into sports um, as a whole. So these guys will forever hold a special place in my hearts, and that's why these two collections uh, mean what they do to me. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you join us again for a video soon.